On Sunday night, the first direct Lufthansa flight from Frankfurt to Nairobi carrying 140 passengers touched down at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. So Lufthansa has identified leisure markets like Nairobi, where we want to offer a higher density of economy class seating, of course, along with our business class and new premium economy. I will already have two uh, important delegations uh, in the next couple of, I think it's two weeks or something like that. The one is coming already on Friday. So um, there is keen interest by German, the German business community in Nairobi as the hub for East Africa. The return of Lufthansa is a huge vote of confidence for Nairobi as East Africa's commercial hub and also raises the prospects for the tourism industry. I think from a tourism perspective for us, Germany is a very key market. Germany is right now our third largest source market and we want to grow tourism. We also are bound to see a growth of tourism in the Kenyan coast, of which we really are looking forward to that. The Lufthansa Group has 13 airline brands and over 500 subsidiaries and affiliates. We have our Swiss group company with us here and pricing and ticketing work on a retroactive basis, vice versa, so you can theoretically fly out on Lufthansa and come back on Swiss or leave Nairobi on Swiss and come back on Lufthansa. With the Germans having held back from issuing travel advisories when Kenya had a spate of terrorist attacks in 2013 and 2014, the cabinet secretary had a special message for the Lufthansa officials and the German ambassador to Kenya. The German market is and has always been our largest and most resilient market. Even when we were going through very tough times over a year ago, we still had German tourists coming, coming to Kenya and we appreciate that. While Lufthansa has resumed flights after almost two decades, the fact that another member of the group, Belgium-based SN Brussels airline, pulled out of the Nairobi route means that Kenya may actually not have a net gain of capacity to Europe. <laughs> Alex Mwangi, NTV Business.